Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is um, an interview with one of my favorite, favorite swagger. He's also um, the uh, co-CEO, owner of the Church of Illuminism. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you, Kathy. So um, give us a breakdown, because I, I, a lot of people, I don't know if a lot of people have read your book. So uh, he's a writer, but he's also um, one of these new CEO of the new era. And what is that is as if, uh, don't be afraid of the church name, because uh, um, it is just a way that people are going to be going on in the future grouping with people who they're looking for um awakeness uh, um you know it is just going to be changing society is going to be changing on a whole so um i'm turning it over to you give us um a short bio of who you are right so i have been searching for spiritual wisdom for for the whole life i traveled all over um and I've been to ashrams and to to uh, and to schools where I could be taught these things. Um, I've been in India for many years. I learned from some of the masters there on certain topics, and now I'm back here. And I wanted to spread that infor information with um, with with everybody. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, um, you know, this is so amazing because I know that you studies with a lot of masters and, uh, um, you know, it's just a blessing having you return to the Western world um, because you have traveled the world and you have, uh, have so much information. I think that you're going to be one of the, you know, the wise people that has walked this planet. And, you know, what made you um, decide looking for spirituality? Because a lot of us, we just born on this planet and we just think that we born and we get married and, you know, we have good jobs and that's it. So, but what makes you really go out and look for spirituality? Because I know um, that uh, um, sometimes you reach a point in your life, some people were born and knew that, you know, there is different, they feel different on this planet and uh, mm -hmm. that things are not the same. But what makes you, what age it was and what makes you go looking for spirituality? I guess I've been interested in this the whole time. Even when I was small, um, I was fascinated with who, or with finding out who God was. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And I've, got, and I've always been fascinated with that. And I went through the whole spectrum, which means I was a a actual Hindu when yeah. I was growing up. Then I became more into um into like let's go back to your um when you decide because you were you were born in the faith of Hinduism. Yes. Hinduism. I was right. Born that way. And I was I fought so I I was on that on that path for quite some time. I yeah. think um, probably until I was maybe sixteen. Wow! From sixteen onwards, I then tried to learn all about all of the other faiths. Yeah. Uh, and I reached a point then where I accepted all of them. Yeah. Um, and then I ended up at the ashram. Okay. Uh, in India, where I was going to give up everything and join there, and uh, what happened there was the 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 master who was there had told me that I had that I had to complete some small small tasks, and I did that, and I came back, and that's when he told me that I that I that I can't join. And then I have to do this work um, that's outside in the world. Yeah, the, yes. the work in the world. Yeah, because I got it too. I was like thirteen when I wanted to become um, a um, nun, but right. it was not. Uh, um, they said no. This lifetime you have to work, and like they call it, like the world. You know, they call yes. it. Yes. So it is, it, I know exactly where you're coming from. And that's the thing about it. When I read your stuff and I read your bio, I was like, you know, this is just so powerful because two people 
that was born a totally different side of the world and from two different religious background have the same common interests and mm -hmm. I, I think that a lot of people are not aware of this it doesn't really matter you know where in the world we were born and how our religious background we we basically have the same things and we deal right. with the same things and i think that that was beautiful so they say that you had to work into this world because this is what they had told me also is that this time you are here um to be in the world and um you know like face worldly thing yes um, that's, that's how they kind of explain it to me and they said the world needs you because you have wisdom and light to bring to this world so yeah. i can understand and then so you know i can imagine you you know you give up everything and you have these tasks you wanted to do and and, and then they said so what happened after that so when Is he told me no i was pretty much destroyed i was crying for days and weeks <laughs> because that's what yeah, i it's very because that was the yeah. plan yes yeah because that's and what I you went, want that's what your yes. soul was calling out for yeah yeah that's right and i went back and i spoke with him maybe five more times and he told me the same thing he said you have to do work outside and you can't join here and i was all confused um yeah. so i left from there and came back uh, back home and i didn't know what i should be doing because nobody told me no nope. Yeah, that's so it. I you know, no on. one told you what you know, and you're like, you had your mind set on something, and all of a sudden that is dragged away from you, and right. you don't know what direction to go in. Exactly. And then it was about um two years later, I had a dream, and he was there, the same man. Wow. And he told me that I need to start um start uh the school where oh, I can teach people. Wow, wow, yeah. yeah. So yeah. what I did actually was I got in the plane and I flew back there so I could speak with him. Oh my God. And when I got there, the other people there told me that he died. Oh my God. Actually so on the same day that I had the dream. Oh my God. So he entered yeah. your dream while crossing over while and crossing advised over. you and then you flew there back. So that means you should have I actually begin your school there. Exactly. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. And this is it. People don't understand how spirit works. They don't understand that we have our guides and angel, whether, you know, and they are the one who guide us through this thing because you see that's coincident and that sort of a coincident happens to me and like my friends they just think okay that's that's k <laughs> <You Right. know? laughs> these coincidences do happen so when you went back and you found out that he he passed away what happened so this is in, so what happened was i spoke with others there and they told me that that he had died on the same day um <laughs> And then I was, again, I was confused because I didn't know what I should be doing because there was no, there was no guide or guide there, of there were no steps yeah. that were given, right? Oh my God. So I was walking through a market back there and mm -hmm. um, in the dream, he actually told me that I would receive a, a mantra that wow. I should keep chanting and when i yeah. do that i it um, open up your yeah yes. you'll find your way to yes yes but oh the problem was he had oh died yeah. so he couldn't give me that so i so was walking was in this market oh. and i was walking and i keep seeing this particular shirt okay which had hindi writing on 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 the on front it. of it yeah yes yeah. And I would walk up and down, but I, but the shirt would constantly would draw in me. your sight. <laughs> yes, so I said I'm going to buy it, right? So I went to the to the store there and I bought it, and I came back to the hotel and I wanted to find out what it what was what was on it. Yeah. So I looked it up and it was a particular mantra. Wow. <laughs> Oh yes. wow. And that was the mantra that I should have been chanting. So oh he somehow God. gave it to me. Uh, this is just amazing. Thank you. No, this is amazing because 
uh, this is just connecting the dot that if we only open up ourselves and our mind, our consciousness, our, our mm. ourselves, we will connect with our higher self because, right. you know, this message was connected between you and um, this, this, you know, how you get that mantra is just by that one shirt. Mm -hmm. And if people understand that every time you see signal, if you are worried and you are looking for answers from your higher self, look because the answers will be in plain sight and this is what i say to a lot of people you're always looking outside but inside the right. signs are there wow that That's is so right. beautiful so yeah. you do the mantra and then how long did it take after doing the mantra did you recognize so, what to do so all of this happened um in 2001 Wow. So from 2000, from, so from back then, I was chanting and doing all, all of these practices. Um, and I didn't get information until probably 2010. Yeah, it takes time. Yes, yes this was nine, does, nine years. Yeah, it takes of, time. It is not something a lot of people, and I tell them, when you start to awaken and understand it doesn't go like this. It is years right. of training. Thank you yes. for letting us know that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Wow. And then you begin um, to write because you know you have uh, um, written so many books, and your first book, uh, um, you know, that was what that really. I I've bought your first book because I remember the first time you came, um, uh, and. You know, tell us more about this first book and what, you know, why you started writing that book because it's about the gods and, um, be, you know, becoming your god or right. being your, yes. So let's speak yeah. about your book, your first book. That book, especially, is such a wonderful book. So the first book that I wrote was all about how we can become gods. Um, and a lot of people, when they read it, uh, you know, they, they were convinced that I'm working with the dark side or this side or or that side, but that's not true because we we are or the whole goal of us being here is to become gods. Yes, and in all the ancient schools, that's what they have been teaching, and yes. these masters know this. Yes, uh, but in the public, they have kept the secret. Yeah. Uh, so we can't find. So we can't find out because when we become gods, then they cannot rule us. So they don't tell you that. But that is the actual, um, the actual goal. Yes, because we are all gods and goddesses. Yes. And and you know whenever you recognize that we were created as gods and goddesses, um, a lot of people who try to take our power because 10 percent of uh, the people on the planet um you know actually don't give us the information and keep us in the dark That's right. and whenever we understand this and we can connect ourselves and understand that we are the creator of gods and goddesses you know and mm -hmm. then we will understand but we you know you brought up a good point and the point is that when you're looking for spirituality you have to study like all of the spiritual um the hinduism buddhism and all of them, you know, yes. christianity and then you find spirituality because what you will recognize is that with everything the connection is there and it's coming from one source it doesn't exactly. really matter if i am um you know talking to um a buddhist uh, of a hindu of uh, um an arabic of you know name it right. christianity and this is why i said i'm not christian i'm a spiritual right. being this is right. how you know i i, I kind of go through the world as being a spiritual being because when you put a label to something that is what uh, is creating a mess on this planet at this time it's because we labor everything everything has yes. to be in a labor every group has to be in a label so right. I, um the, the you know when you wrote that uh, cuz it is a book of uh, 
over 700 pages when you wrote uh, you know what was going into your mind because when i did mine it was as if i got so much information that i'm thinking nope i am not telling people these things because then they're going to be thinking that i'm crazy so right. how did you <laughs> and this it's is basically I, the same yeah. thing i got yeah. a lot of, of info of of things and actually the whole book was chat was Channel. channeled uh through through the spirits yes um and and the original book was i think it was a uh, 1400 pages wow and i cut it down <laughs> to that because <laughs> people don't like to see all those pages there nobody wants to read that oh much. my god no. i i finished study i don't want to see all those pages <laughs> but you know ladies and gentlemen you can find this book on amazon um go check it out we have the amazon link um below the videos and uh, um you know i'm going to be um like um letting people know that you know life is full of surprises and if you are looking for the truth um you know check out his books because they're very good we're going to be looking at the church uh, and we're coming up but first we're getting to get a feel to understand who you are and how because you're known to be one of the greatest person who um, you know your information is really i read the book ladies and gentlemen and it was channel the information is correct okay because i always advise people when you read um you should ask your yourself is the information correct and i was right. reading your book and i was like thank the lord at least someone is bringing out this information because humanity needs to have this information so, you know, I see you as one of these um, persons because I, you know, look for people who are helping humanity. And I, when I read your book, you know, you and uh, um, uh, what's her name? Um, she died. Um, reminds me of uh, um, that there's truly um, people who are channeled, who gets um news information through channel i wisdom and knowledge to channel and the uh, what's her name doreen no um i don't know if you know her she was a hypnotism i uh -huh. read her book and she wrote uh, garden in uh, um conversation with uh, um nostradamus and she right oh, from yeah. the university and she's just I, fabulous yeah. i've mm -hmm. never ever seen anyone and and her you and her have the same type of how you get i wisdom and knowledge and it, it, it came through you and that book in such a powerful way oh my god i, I can see her she died a couple of years ago i think her daughter is still running but she was very good because she started in 1978 i think working with uh, um the governments and it noticed and that is when she started to find out by um taking people to past life for uh, recognition mm -hmm. she started getting all these information and you know what when i read your book i was like yes this is uh, um yes this is what humanity needs to know and to understand and i'm advising each and every person um there is an amazon link at the bottom um go check out the book he also have courses so um you can have the courses so everything is on the link below ladies and gentlemen go check out the book It's a book if you're looking really for the truth um it is there now let's see um, um you're working on the last book and you're working on a meditate um a meditation technique now mm -hmm. right. um so what direction you're going with that are you going to basically use it with the church or can anyone um buy that technique on the channel well what we're planning to do is uh we're selling it as a course um oh, which you have wow. yeah where you can actually learn how to meditate the same way that the ancient masters were mm -hmm. yeah. and that's something that people have not heard because all of the techniques that are out now are something completely different from what from what they actually actually teach 
Yeah. So this is it. Yeah. So this will be fa this will be fa fantastic for people to see this. Yeah. Because a lot of people are trying to find themselves now with the school of it and all of that that is happening. And right. um, a lot of people are looking for new techniques and ways. And I, I think a lot of people are awakening, even that it is so slow. Because mm -hmm. um, I'm recognizing this with the COVID, a lot of people are not dealing with it as how it was, you know, a lot of people are losing their self. Um, and a lot of people are looking for answers. And, right. um, you know, where, what do you see the COVID? What, how do you see people dealing with the COVID? Because a lot of people um, are not. Yeah. I think, I think that we need to understand that there is a group of people on the earth who actively try to stop us from growing. Yeah. And ascending. Mm -hmm. Yes. And they try everything. And, and the biggest thing that they can use to stop us is, is by creating, is by creating fear. Yeah, and I think that's what they are trying to do with this COVID. Um, yeah, and because when you are fearful, you you cannot see the actual the actual truth. Yeah, and yeah. the it's, it's actual been... truth. Yeah. No, go ahead. No, I was going to say that the actual truth is that we are very powerful, and we can um, we can. Um, you know, tell us more of the church because I, you know, the name of your church, a lot of people is like church, Illuminati. Yes. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> they are scared so of tell it. Us, yes. Tell us more about your church and, you know, why did you use the name that you use? Well, the whole reason that we use that name is because the word means something that is a secret that can be used for for the illuminating evolution. yourself yeah yes. illuminating yourself that's um, right yeah. and in fact the the bad people who are using that same name are using it wrongly exactly because and they a lot aren't of people are not aware of that right and i think that they've done that so they can hide you know what what the it secrets, actually is yes right. the secrets behind uh, and um, what it is, because it's actually illuminating who you are. Uh, you know, uh, it's as if it's ascension, but you're opening yourself, your um, higher self and knowledge and consciousness to higher power. Right. Yeah. That's exactly right. But there are people who get scared when they see the name because they don't understand, you know, yeah. why would we call it that? But that exactly. is the actual, yeah. But that's why we have done that. And you know, why did you come up with this idea? Because I kind of have a, an idea of how you come up with this idea because a lot of people are not aware of the churches are going to be falling, ladies and gentlemen, okay? Um, in the next 25 years or so, the churches, there's not going to be any more churches. And what people are going to be doing is finding group of people, their soul family, in order to reconnect. And I think that this was the idea behind the church because that is the new way of the hero as we move forward as on this planet. Right. There was um, a message that I received, um, I, and I believe it, it was in 2017. I was actually told that all of these churches will be gone. Yes. But there will be one church. Yeah. And it's, a, it's the actual real, like the real, real church. Yeah. Um, and that will be teaching magic and yes. true like wisdom. True. Yes. Yeah. The church of wisdom, the church yes. of wisdom and knowledge. That's what I got. I don't remember if I put it in my book, ladies and gentlemen, but for the people who read my book, uh, it's going to be one church and it's the church of wisdom and knowledge. Right. And that is going to be bringing back people to the awareness of who they are and why are they on this planet because people are not aware of who they are and why they are here all yes. right so i you know this is a beautiful because you also support homeless people you also feed homeless oh, yeah. people 
and um, you know give us give us um you know what you do for homeless people because a lot of people um we are now running a series the whole month of may um we are trying to fundraise for homeless people and i had your organization on my mind so um i'm going to be sending out but um ladies and gentlemen if you want to donate to his organization uh he's in the las vegas area and um the um i think i have a donate button or we're going to be getting a donate button so ladies and gentlemen this man he feeds over 70 homeless people per week okay because of the COVID, is not capable of doing that but um you know he can tell you further what and how he does that just via his church yeah so basically there are locations here uh where the homeless people go for feedings uh and they're mainly run by by christian um churches yes so we wanted to do the same thing mm -hmm. and we went out to those locations and we fed wow. all of those people actually we got a little bit of a of a fight from the christian churches when they yeah. tried to figure out who we were and especially with the, our name. Yeah, that is always the case. <laughs> yes, they're like, who are and these guys? Like, I just do not understand with Christian people. Um, you're supposed to be a Christian and you're supposed to love people no matter what it is. But right. why do you, you know, whatever you think that is in not in the norm, why do you fight against this? And I think Christians and Christianities and people should question themselves why yes. if you don't understand something why you know fighting against this but i'm so happy um that you really stood up to them because i guess a lot of homeless people would yeah prefer to come to you because they're not pressured in going to the church right exactly <laughs> <laughs> so you know I, I, you know I, it's really um it's really sad that COVID and what happens now? How are how are they being fed? With well, COVID? I don't really know, but I do know that the police here were cracking down on them, like um, being in in uh, groups. Yeah. So we um, so we have to wait until they reopen things, and then we can oh. and then we can continue. Yeah. Yeah. So That's ladies sad, and gentlemen, but what can we do? It's, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very sad because I was surprised when you said that because I was like, yeah, we can do the interview because we are um doing um a fundraising for homeless and your organization was one of the first one that came um in my mind when I was doing this because I have like a list of organization that I really wanted to give of first. Um you know, and do you have like facility for beds for them to stay do you take clothes um you know how do you help them apart from giving food is there any we don't place? have that yet but what yeah. we were doing is we were trying to find find them how um Housing find them or, yeah, yeah or where even, they can stay yeah where they could stay and right. what we we were going to do is we were going to get the rvs and have them stay oh, there yeah and right when we began that this whole COVID thing came and kind of oh, shut everything no, down really oh my yeah. god it, all right so yeah. you know i would love to work with you guys in order to get that in um in fact so you know um let me know because um i think that no one should go homeless on this planet ladies and gentlemen no one should go hungry no one should go homeless on this planet because we're all here together and despite our position you never know when you're going to get homeless and uh, um exactly. i think that you know you know i respect this organization and i would say to a lot of people um get out of the box and go and and learn what this is all about because this is the new era this is where we're going and uh, um this organization is helping homeless people and this is where we need to start focusing on helping homeless people ladies and gentlemen because you never know when you are going to be the one that is homeless and by giving um support and uh, uh, clothes and that sort of a thing and helping to get rds and that sort of a thing the organ this organization um 
you know, I don't want to call it a church because it is an organization that is helping humanity. Okay. Right. This is where we're going in the future. And we are all coming together um, to build this. Do you have any plans apart from the RVs? And how was you going to do the RVs? Was it going to be two person RV or how, you know? Yeah. We we were going to get them because we actually found a website where we can get these um, RVs, which were which are used, but for as cheap as like two thousand bucks. Wow! So we were going to get those and put maybe two to three people in per each night. One. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm really really asking you guys to really open up your hearts, um, um, you know, to support because you know two thousand dollars to get a harvey you you know everyone we know how much it costs and if you know we can get it at that price ladies and gentlemen help this uh, um help help because we gotta get these people off the street we gotta get them um on in some sort of a shelter because i don't think that any person should be homeless on this planet right. so you know the the the, the point is that if you, ladies and gentlemen, is interested in connecting with this church, I'm going to leave all the website, all the information on the website below. Um, you know, this organization is really, really trying to help people. And with the COVID, they can't do anything right now because of what is transpiring. But what you can do is really support it by donating. And, you know, I'll be coming back. We'll be coming back together and we can tell um, you know, what is happening, what is going on, but please, I'm asking um, people for to donate to um, this organization because I truly believe in this organization and I know that they're doing good for homeless people. All right, so I know I am, I, and you have written so many books. Mm -hmm. um, you had um, a book there, yes. Um, do you still have it to show? Yes, I do. The um... last one that you have written yeah written. i have to get it just one second okay <laughs> <All right. laughs> that's okay. okay here we go okay so wow okay we're still no waiting edicts. for my copy mm -hmm. yes <laughs> so I'm this, is, one. this is um the last book that he has written you can find yes. the book also in the link below this mm -hmm. video i am saying to each and every one go check out his website go check out his book he has a lot of courses and the ch the church is um what time is the church um nine o'clock saturday sunday uh, mornings normally we have the services on sundays or, and they start around 3 3 p.m um and they last about an hour wow okay um, that's not bad and then, 3 p.m is good because then you get yeah. up so, yeah and so then there the is yeah there are tons of the videos that you can watch on 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 um the website yeah yes. i've seen that yes so mm -hmm. uh, ladies and gentlemen and you can also connect live with the church um yeah it is like three o'clock in the afternoon people are always like you know uh looking through your youtube so connect with the church live he has a live youtube channel and it is also at the bottom of this video okay ladies and gentlemen um i want to advise you guys that uh, um we cannot look at the name of something and give it the stamp because a church is not a church because the church is um now is not a church because they're not doing enough to help humanity everyone um is you know thinking about themselves and you know this organization is like teaching people to reconnect with their soulmates to, to reconnect by helping each other and you know i'm asking you one question you know where are you now in seeing the world is the world on the third um dimension or fourth dimension I think the majority of people are in the 3D, um, and we need to change that. But I don't think it's going to change unless we change. We have to do something. Right. We actually have to stand yeah. up for what's happening here and do something. As long as we sit, as long as we wait for yeah. help from yeah. outside, 
we're going to be doomed. We have yeah. to we have to actually stand up so we can change things. Yeah. You know, That's another question, way. do you think that there are um, another species in another universe? Yes, I do. Yeah. But so I don't do think I. that they're going to help us. I don't think no. that they're going to come here no. so they can save us because that's we because have to we save should ourselves. be doing that. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And and yeah, and this is what a lot of people because um you know they're here. Some of them are here, but a lot of people expect uh, you know like in the the churches you know the Christ is coming and that sort of a thing. But guess what? God is in you. Right. The Christ light is in we you. Right. It's when you recognize this and, you know, it's the most beautiful thing um, because you were, you grew up as Hindu and the Hindu, you know, I respect you guys for a lot of stuff. Like, and if you explain pe to people the difference between Hindu and Christianity to let people have a, an idea of what that is. With Hinduism, the main concept is that we are capable of doing everything and we need to reach the state where we know that with christianity it's almost as if you're waiting for an external source yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry. <laughs> and with hinduism we understand that the source is in us yeah that is the key thing yeah um, and i actually think that the actual teachings of jesus are telling you the same thing yeah but, but in a different way it. yes but in a different way because exactly. you know my thing I, i don't know if you have read my book but in the beginning of the book i said i was six years old when i you know sat in a church and recognized that something wasn't right because it's as if uh, um, you know, this woman was getting in spirit and the rest of it and saying things and words, and I'd never believe. And I looked at her and I just think that it was the devil in her. And I'm sorry, mm -hmm. ladies and gentlemen, but, you know, I was six years old and I was recognizing that God do not come up in someone like that. Mm -hmm. The eye itself is very still and very calming and it helps you to remember, but not in that way. And I was six years old and that was what led me to write that book because I have been... Um, questioning myself about Christianity and growing up in the church and really questioning myself what it truly is Christianity because you and you know I've been sitting in church from ever since I was young and it said yeah God is coming Christ is coming Christ is mm -hmm. coming and then after I started studying spirituality I recognized that God and Christ is, is within us mm -hmm. you know and 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 it was it was as if you were taught ever since I'm, I mean I'm I'm um, over 50 and Christ is coming, God is coming, but he's never yet here. You mm -hmm. know, and what I recognize with spirituality is that Christ is within us. Right. Um, you know, our eye self is the Christ light is within us. And I think that is the thing with Hinduism is that you all know it, um, that, you know, your higher self, we call it the higher self, that you know, you are God and goddesses and your Christ life is within you. And the church tell you to expect a coming. Because if right. you read the Bible um, with Exodus and the the last revelation, mm -hmm. it told you about the coming of Christ. But it, it mm -hmm. is not the coming of Christ is that you are going to be ascending through right. the right form to connect with the Christ right. light. That's right. And you, you know, I, I, you know, discussing this with <laughs> um, family members of mine that is a preacher, and he, I, I'm like, and he was like, oh, I never looked at it like that. <laughs> it's like, okay. <laughs> well, you the know, whole. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, what I was going to say is the whole book of Revelation is a story that happens within man. Thank not you. Not outside is within yes and christian Thank people you. are way are waiting for it outside but it should be happening inside and that i think is the key Thank is you. the key problem it's the mm -hmm. key for yes yeah. because a lot of people and this is why i say to people before you can say 
oh i'm a christian oh i'm a spiritual person you gotta learn all the christianities in the world and then mm -hmm. you can say yes i'm a spiritual person because you know a lot of people will see someone hugging a, a tree and they will laugh at people but hugging a tree is clearing your energy but it's also a downloading eye of wisdom and knowledge and people do mm -hmm. not understand that walking right. on the ground with bare feet is about grounding yourself and connecting mm -hmm with mother hurt but people don't right. understand that but you guys do understand that because you grew up because in hindu and buddhism is too if i would change hindu and buddhism i would become a hindu or a buddhism and mm -hmm. I, it is the way how you guys respect everything around you you know and um, christianity don't have that because if you right. you know christianity is very discriminated not even knowing that they're discriminated yeah they're very sectarian yes yeah and that's okay wow. but if you but if you're going to be sectarian then you should be absolutely right exactly and this is what i've been saying to a lot of people is that um whenever you reach a point in your life and you because most people will awaken when they're 40 you and i awaken right. Ever since we were kids, we were born and we start to question things. We start to read. We start to be in nature and questioning things. But a lot of people don't do that. And a lot of kids um, um, now don't go outside to connect to nature. And a lot of people do not know what it is to connect to nature. That's right. why I have certain question about what is going on. Because we need to connect to nature. Absolutely, you know? yes. Wow. So, you know, that is, uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, a church is not a church. This, uh, you know, this organization is where we're going in the future. It's about reconnecting a soul family together and uh, learning I wisdom and knowledge. Okay. So, you know, the churches and everything is just going to be one church, one organization that we're connecting with. And, you know, he is the founder and CEO. And I do believe in it because we have been going back and forth. I was, should have done this interview from last year, but it did not happen. You know, um, we're going to be looking at a certain critical points in order to um, show people the difference. Um, all right, so let's look at the Freemasons because a lot of people have questions about mm -hmm. the Freemasons. So with the freemasons it's very interesting because their organization from ancient times has yes. the has all of the answers yes. and they know yes. what's happening and they know yes. how yes the problem now is that the people who are running it are not the best people so you have some people who are changing what it is or what the actual the actual core is uh, but as a system, Freemasonry would be absolutely, absolutely truthful and yes. great. Yes. Yes. And, and this is why I wanted to touch this with you, because uh, a lot of people do not understand. They have um, the Asian knowledge. Freemasons have right. the Asian knowledge, ladies and gentlemen. And, you know, every time people, I'm like, if only you people know, the Freemasons are the one who has the Asian knowledge and wisdom. Yep. It they is certain know. people who are connected to the organizations. A lot of people don't know that the Freemasons, they have the knowledge and wisdom. And a lot of people do not know that Freemasons help to release the slaves in america and yep. freemasons were the one who collected the slave and on certain houses um they used to know um where they could go and get food when they were shipping them from uh, north america um from usa into canada a right. lot of people are not aware and the next time another person speak about the freemason know that the freemason have helped to free slavery yeah because a lot of people keep on you know that a lot of people did not know that the freemasons were the one who helps to um because whenever thomas jefferson was trying to pass the thing there to free slavery in america and the freemasons were the one who different different houses in philadelphia boston that you can mm -hmm. go back. There's History Channel, 
that the Freemason, and that is a reason why the triangle is on some houses in America and in Philadelphia mm -hmm. and Boston, is because those were the houses the slave could have get, gone to get a meal and then they went on their journeys. So a right. lot of people, when you are going to be talking about um, you know, these, and this is why I say to people, I do not do society and I don't speak about uh, um, a session, um, certain um, sections, uh, we call them um I, we call them um a section because you have the freemasons you have a, a whole right. group of them but yep. the freemasons are the only true one with true history and knowledge from ancient and i was a, i was in past lifetime a freemason and this is why i when i came back into this lifetime i was aware um that they have a the wisdom and knowledge because I've, ha I've been with them for many lifetime and I know right. that they are the only true one. And this is yes. what, you know, people need to understand um, that we can look at names because we always judge in the book by its color and we need to stop judging book by its color. We need to stop judging the name of something. We need to stop looking at people and judging um, because a lot of people just see, um, you know, I've, names and this but no one has ever spoke about that the freemasons were the one and you can still see the houses they used to can still go to philadelphia and boston and see the houses or they used to crawl underneath the ground and go to this house and it could only be one person and they get their meal and the freemasons were the one who provide the meal so ladies and gentlemen we got to educate ourselves. I always said, educate yourself. And this is the reason why I had to do it with you, but because you are aware of the different sectors and all of what they um, come in. There is something right. about the divine vortex. Do you want to explain to people what is like the divine vortex? The divine vortex? Yeah. It's a process. Um, are you referring to what the Christians would call the rapture? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> um, so the whole rapture concept actually came from Buddhism, um, and it's to describe a process that happens to the spirit when it merges um, like with God. Yeah. And in Christianity, you have this rapture concept, and again, not because I'm trying to pick on them, but I'm just saying that they well, it's not picking. and the Western, it's just, uh, yeah, it's just, the yeah. Western faiths seem to have a way to externalize all of the internal things. Yeah. So they've taken what's internal with with our spirit and mm -hmm. they have called it the rapture. But yeah. it is what happens when the spirit merges uh, and and becomes one with yeah. God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's the same thing with ascending. When Christ yes. ascend, um, yes. and, 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 you know, and this is it, ladies and gentlemen, we go through this process, each and every one of us on this planet will go through this process. Okay. And the thing about it is that from now, if you understand who you are and you understand, because, you know, what is your idea of the purpose? Why we are all on this planet? What is your idea of, you know, how I think that the only that? reason there's only one reason why we're all here and we're here because we have to learn something and what we should be learning is how to leave here because this is like a stepping stone to something else so we have to come here and and master ourselves so we can go and that's what the whole process is all about yeah, so that we can become the gods and goddesses of who yes. we are. And it doesn't really matter what denomination or what group you are from. No, it doesn't matter. We are all have to go through the process. You know, if there's any message you'd want to say to humanity, what would you say? I would say that the key thing is to understand that the spiritual uh road has actual steps that you can take so you can move forward there are people who think that things will happen by themselves that cannot happen to to grow we have to take a we have to take conscious action yeah 
And without conscious action, nothing can happen. And that, that I think is, so is something true. that we should know. Yeah, that is so true. Thank you for that. That is just so beautiful. Um, you know, we're going to be um, touching and looking at, is there anything else you would want to say? Because I have so many questions for you because I see you as one of these masters. <laughs> and, <laughs> you know, there is just so much things that I'd love to discuss with you. But, you know, one of my main questions is that, um, what are you, you know, we have, you have the courses, um, your health and the homeless, whenever the COVID is over. And, um, you know, how do you see, is it, is it more that you're going to be focusing on writing, focusing on courses in order to teach people or, you know, what are you seeing you moving forward? How do you want to, um, you know, bring this organization moving forward? What is your um, thoughts on this, basically? Um, for moving forward, I think we're going to continue with our courses. Um, and then we are going to do live lectures um, outside when they yeah. open up. Um, and we want to teach magic and real, real <laughs> truths, yeah. you know, during these courses. And I'm sorry, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, because I don't know if you guys recognize, I have, I always do a magic reading because the magic begins in the winter, after the winds, winter, <laughs> winter solstice. And the magic begins when um, 31st of October, because that is for the Spanish, the day of the dead. And for America, it is Halloween. That is when it begins. That. 31st of October until the 31st of March is where the energy of creating magic is so good. Mm -hmm. So I want us to talk about the type of magics because there's black magic and there's white magic. Right. So with these two magic types, they're basically the same thing. The only thing that separates black magic from white magic is the intention of the person who is acting it out which means that you know when we do something with a selfish idea that can be considered black magic yeah. if we did the same thing but 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 not with not positive, selfishly yeah with a positive, then it's white magic yeah exactly mm -hmm. and this is what i'm saying to people you know magic is so beautiful okay but it's the mm -hmm. intention behind the magic uh, it is really the intention and a lot of people don't understand because there's good and bad everything is polarity mm -hmm. we have the ego and we have the, the um the higher self and when we learn to merge the ego and the higher self together that's when we create our own magic exactly yes. so i know a lot of people will be um, really connecting with you with magic because a lot of people are now awakened and a lot of people are so do you have any courses on magic or um, do you do it live or do you have courses? Because I'm sure a lot of people are going to be connecting with you um, to do magic. So for magic, I've actually written um, some books specifically teaching magic. Wow. They're not for sale on Amazon because I kind of pick and choose who I sell them to or who I would give them to. Uh, but I can show you. I have uh, one right next to me here, which is probably the most popular one magical words wow um, yeah, yeah yeah and it's all about wow. magic and how to do it <laughs> ah, okay oh that is um, so good I, you know ladies and gentlemen i've read his first book and trust me it is uh, i think you because you channel basically and i think when people channel instead of they create these scenarios in their uh, self is different because uh, when you channel, you basically have the information and the information is coming out and you're just flowing with the information. And sometimes you get so much download of information that you have to stop and rest and then coming back up yes. to pick it up. And you know, what is so beautiful, um, uh, um, yeah, well, if you, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to buy that book, you got to connect with him. He will <laughs> choose whether, and you know, I agree with you totally. I'm sorry, but this is something that I'm saying to you. I really agree with you what you did with those books because uh, 
I had information also to put in my book and I think, no, I'm not doing it because people are going to be using it for the wrong reasons. Yeah, that's and the I, yeah. They, yeah. So I agree totally um, how you did that. Um, you know, let's look at birth chart because a lot of people are not aware that they need to find out who they are and their secrets is in their birth chart. Your name yes. and um, the secrets. And that's, that, that was why I was like, you use your name and I use a, um, I think their name um, to write my books. I was like, because they already told me um, because I had to do two things. Uh -huh. um i'm an accountant so and you know starting the spiritual thing is uh, so i had to protect my identity in in that uh -huh. sort of a way and my guys um they gave me katy khan and katy khan is ka right k a k a and the ka is the healing of the soul so every time yeah. you speak that it is the healing of the soul so you know let me know what because you you know i was looking at your name and you know you're one of these uh, masters because you're actually here oh my god i'm not reading you okay <laughs> so you're actually <laughs> you're actually here um to teach inner wisdom and knowledge um to humanity so it's as if you're an ascendance master who is doing their last leg on hurt and you're going to be, uh, whenever you ascend, you're going to be taken on the role of ascendance master because ascendance masters are one that works on hurt and then ascend and then you become a higher spirit of elevation. And this is what I'm getting from you, that you're one of those higher beams of knowledge and wisdom and knowledge. And, uh, um, you know, seeing that you have... Uh, accomplish and, and and you you have to accomplish so much more but you know how how does this make you feel you know is it that you feel as if you have reached um and touched the arts of a lot of people or how does this feel for you do you feel as if you need to do more right now right now i feel as though i have not found the people who I should find and I have not told them what I should tell them. Mm -hmm. um, I definitely feel that I have been shown things that nobody can tell me are uh, wrong because I've seen them with my eyes. Uh, but I'm, I haven't been able to yeah. to get it out there yeah. to people. Yet. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Um, and I, I do understand. Do you want to share one of those things? <laughs> because, <Sure>. um, <laughs> you know, we, we spoke about that. So uh -huh. go ahead. I was in an ashram uh, in North India, which you can only get to by walking. And it's far away from all of these towns. Uh, and I made it there. And first of all, outside was all snow, but there was an apple tree that was growing there filled with green apples wow and it and there was nothing but snow there and no other plants or but this was growing like in some tropical place wow which was unbelievable so i go into this ashram um and there were all of these monks that were there okay. and i witnessed a man disappear in front of my eyes and reappear in a different location within maybe three seconds. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it does happen, ladies and, and gentlemen, that is shapeshifters and um, um, and flipping through dimensional shift, okay? Right. Like time travel. Time travel, okay? And it does happen, ladies and gentlemen, because a lot of Absolutely. you um do not understand but we have the power to do that but because of we can do those eat, things yes, yes because of things that we eat it does block our spiritual consciousness and we forget how to do those things and you know i'm glad that you brought that up because you know it's amazing because I, I you know if i tell people these things they do not understand that we have each and every one of us have the power to do this. And, That's you know, right. I don't know if you guys 
watched Eero. And it is so powerful, Eero, because Eero is basically letting us know that in the future, we are going to be awakened by the gifts that we have. Mm -hmm. And era was one of these things that people, you know, it is a reason. And a lot of people do not understand that all television shows and that sort of a thing, there is something behind it. There is something that 10% uh, of the planet is aware of certain things and we don't have the information and they give it in that sort of a thing. And time traveling is a very, I, I think all of us does it basically when we go to sleep. Yes. Because when you go to sleep, your your spirit visit, um, you know, different, different places. And this is why I said, when you're going to sleep, make sure that you are in peace and you know exactly where you want to go. Because peace, you know, sleep time is when your soul leaves your body. Mm -hmm. This um, it's, that's, it's absolutely wonderful. So, um, you know. Are you going to be teaching these things um, to people to let them understand? Um, you know, is this a part of uh, um, your courses? Yes, I with our with the courses we have, we we will teach the whole process. Now you have to you have to know that with these powers, um, they require hard work. So you have to really take time and and do things. But we can all have them. And the method is being taught through those courses. Wow. Wow. This is just absolutely fantastic. I want to say thank you so much for being here. Any thank last you, words? Any last um, words? I think, uh, like I said in the past, just that we need to be consciously active. And we need to do things. We can't sit and wait for people to come and to help us. It's not going to happen. We can't wait for ETs to come here. We have to actively do things so we can change the 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 situation here. Yeah, yeah. Especially the in this thing. time, yeah, a lot of people, a lot of people are um, changing. So, you know, this has been such a wonderful thing. And I'm asking, ladies and gentlemen, please support um, this Church of Illuminos because it's um, it's really the future. This is what um, organization groups are going to be like that is educating people. It's going to be eye of wisdom and knowledge. This is where we're going, where everyone is going to be free to reconnect with their eye self in order to um access and uh, um you know awakening your consciousness of who you are um mm -hmm. the church begins at 3 3, 3 p.m on sunday 3 p.m on mm -hmm. sundays uh he's in the las vegas area all the information is um at the bottom you can go visit the website um he also have a, a free membership so mm -hmm. if you're interested it's a free membership um, if you'd like to donate and if you'd like to donate uh, um, to get so that, um, you know, we can, he can get all of that uh, um, um, UVs and clothes for the homeless and that sort of a thing. I would really appreciate this, ladies and gentlemen. Um, thank you so much for um, being here. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you so much, Ezra. And um, I want to say to ladies and gentlemen, you can find this book. The link is below. It's on Amazon and um, the church. You can, the link is below for the church. And I want to say to each and every person, donate. Um, this is a cause that I truly, truly believe in and support. We're trying to get um, um, you, um, um why am i dwindling um we're trying to get uvs for um people to sleep in so please support us and i want to say thank you so much and um use the link below look at below there's all link connecting us and i want to say thank you for being here if you want to um have um, um ramesh coming back and uh, um uh, questions please let us know and i will see if he has the time i do love you guys gotta go remember to share 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 these videos namaste